The tragic story of the RMS Titanic continues to fascinate, but many people don't realize that one of her sister vessels still exists today. The White Star Line's route for the Olympic-class liners was departure from Southampton on England's south coast across the English Channel to Cherbourg to collect more passengers before heading to Queenstown, now Cove in Southern Ireland, for the final boardings and then across the Atlantic to New York City. The problem was that the French port of Cherbourg, the Olympic and the Titanic were too big to dock in the port. Therefore, passengers would have to be brought out to the ships. Whilst Olympic and Titanic were under construction, White Star Line ordered a pair of tenders to ferry passengers, luggage, mail and supplies to both vessels at Cherbourg. They were named Nomadic and Traffic and were built alongside the bigger ships in Belfast at Harland and Wolfe. Traffic's duties was to convey third class or steerage passengers to the big liners. Her sister ship, the SS Nomadic, would carry first and second class passengers to the Olympic and Titanic. Nomadic was launched on the 25th of April 1911 and delivered to White Star Line on the 27th of May. 230 feet long, 37 feet wide, and weighing 1,273 tonnes, she was powered by two coal-fired steam engines. Both tenders appeared in the exact same colour scheme as the Olympic and the Titanic. The Nomadic was fitted out just like her big sisters, Olympic and Titanic, with cushioned bench seating, tables, porcelain water fountains, very smart lavatories and a buffet bar. Her windows, plasterwork and decorative joinery echoed the big ships she served. The Titanic arrived at Cherbourg on her maiden voyage to New York on the 10th of April 1912, and the Nomadic came alongside, carrying many of the Titanic's most famous and wealthy passengers. Among them was the famous Denver millionairess Margaret Molly Brown, President Taft's military adviser Major Archibald Butt, John Jacob Astor, the multi-millionaire and his young pregnant second wife, British baronet Sir Cosmo Duff Gordon and his wife, mining tycoon Benjamin Guggenheim, and famous actress Dorothy Gibson. Once she had unloaded her passengers and baggage, the nomadic left the Titanic's side, and the great liner steamed off on her voyage to tragedy. As for the nomadic, she was requisitioned by the French government in World War I, serving as an auxiliary minesweeper. In 1934, the White Star Line merged with Cunard, and the nomadic was sold. She worked for the Cherbourg Tow and Rescue Company until World War II broke out. In June 1940, she helped British and French troops escape from bomb-ravaged Cherbourg and sail to England. Based in Portsmouth, she again performed war service. After the war, Nomadic returned to Cherbourg and worked as a tender, retiring in 1968. Sold off again, Nomadic was purchased in the early 1970s and turned into a floating restaurant on the River Seine, opposite the Eiffel Tower in Paris in 1974. But in 1999, just two years after the movie Titanic had been released, the Nomadic was still on the Seine, the business failing. In 2002, she was seized by the Paris Harbour Authorities, who proceeded to chop off her upper superstructure so they could drag her under the new bridges along the river as they towed her off to an uncertain future. Put up for sale in 2005, nobody was interested. But then a group of Titanic Society started a campaign to buy her, but they couldn't reach her reserve price. Finally, in 2006, the Northern Ireland Department for Social Development bought the vessel for €250,001. It seemed only fitting that Nomadic returned to her home city, Belfast. A long and complex restoration effort was begun to restore her to her Titanic-era configuration. And now, once more, this vessel has been restored to her full glory, a fitting tribute to the skilled workers at Harland and Wolfe who built the Titanic, the Olympic and so many other vessels, and a poignant and emotive connection to her big sister, the Titanic. It is today the only place where you can get some sense of what the Titanic must have been like. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please do subscribe and also share. Many thanks.